Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Auto Fun. Alex the Car Guy here, and today we're gonna talk about catch cans, also known as oil separators. So we're gonna talk about the different brands that are out there and the different options that are on these oil separators. Also, I'm gonna give you some of my opinions on which is the oil separator that might be best suited for you. On this side, we have the Ford Performance Oil Separator. This particular separator is meant for my Shelby GT350. This right here is one of the most popular oil separators in the market for Mustangs. It is made by JLT. And this oil separator right here it is um, a separator that actually came off my Dodge Neon SRT4. So why do you want an oil separator? Very briefly, if you don't know what an oil separator is, don't worry, a lot of people are in the same boat. You have a lot of ventilation that the engine is sucking in through the different ports, and some of those ports can potentially suck in oil from the same engine, from the same your engine oil. It's, that basically is called blow-by, and that is a normal situation on most motors, and also you'll have more release as the motor gets older. So that particular oil will eventually contaminate those passages, those intakes, your valves, and can affect your uh, performance of the car, can reduce the, the quality of the power delivery that's being done by the car. So separating the oil and keeping it away from entering all the passages where it shouldn't be is something you want to do. So that's a very brief description of what an oil separator is. Let's look at some of the options. As you can see, on the Bomba, you actually have a really, really cool see-through view window. And this is very convenient because you're able to see as the oil starts to accumulate the level of oil. Now this is also a weakness. And I say that because this is made out of analyzed aluminum. So this is going to last forever, an eternity. In fact, I even machine additional holes here so I can adjust the location of it. And this is, I had this for many, many years and it's just doing really, really good. But what is likely the first thing that's going to eventually fail? The window because the window is plastic eventually it will crack and it will leak so while it is a super cool feature and convenient to have it is not something that i would say it's a must you don't really need an oil window if you're emptying the catch can regularly take a look at the jlt there is no inspection window now how do i know when this is full you don't so all you do is you check it regularly open it up empty the oil and you are good to go so nice to have a window but not really a deal breaker if you don't have one they do i do want you to be aware that there are some cheap ones <laughs> going around on ebay and at your local swap meet that may have a window in this style well it might have a window like this or may have a little tube that comes out and that little tube uh, it gets filled up with oil so that's the way that you can kind of tell what's inside that's the level those uh, particular catch cans are known to leak on where the fittings are for the viewing tube. So I highly discourage the catch cans that are cheaply uh, made knockoffs of good quality components, such as this guy. This one has a window and it's still going. I mean, really, if you, this is probably a testament to the quality of this particular catch can. With the window, there are no leaks. Also, this catch can has a really really cool feature this is normally installed in the car like this so there is air going in through one side and then the engine is sucking it through the other and the oil is getting caught inside of this canister eventually you're gonna have to empty the oil how do you do it well this catch a catch can was provided with a very very cool idea of a little screw that you remove basically with an allen wrench and as soon as you remove it you start to literally uh, get the oil out of there so I, I literally use another container and slide it on there open up the screw and empty the catch can reinstall the screw and i am good to go this is super convenient because it makes emptying the catch can very easy and very quick however here's the disadvantage because it is coming out of this hole if you don't put a container in there and if you don't locate that container properly you're gonna spill potentially oil either on the floor or in your engine bay. So it is an awesome feature to be able to drain the, the fluid from here, but it's potentially could be messy to empty oil. Or let's say that you get all the oil in the separate container where you catch it, but as you're taking that container out, you spill it, <laughs> now you have a mess. So that is the features of this uh, catch can right here. 
Now let's look at the JLT one. This is the JLT as has been sold for many, many years. It has since been uh, superseded by a newer version, the JLT 3.0. And while it is similar in design, some of the uh, features that I'm going to show you have been improved and I'll talk about those. So first off, you notice that there's no inspection window. This is one solid can and there's also no drain hole. So now I cannot inspect when this thing should be empty and I cannot easily empty it with a removal of a screw. Well, not a problem. This is actually really cool. What I do is I turn this. Man, you remember this is installing the car like this. So I turn this. And now I have my oil that I can go dump. It doesn't get easier than that. And then I can go back and reinstall the catch can. So the advantage of this is, again, you have a very easy method of uh, getting rid of the oil. But you don't need a, a separate container to catch the oil like in here. This is what you take with you away, dump it, and then you restore. So this is a really, really cool system. Now, this uh, being open allows us to see the capacity of this catch can. This catch can holds about 1.5 ounces of fluid. The newer version that JLT sells, the 3.0, holds 3.3 uh, ounces of fluid. So basically, they doubled the fluid, and the catch can got just a little bit larger. So it is not a tremendous increase in size, but it is a, it doubles the capacity of oil that you can have in there. Now, are you ever gonna actually let it fill all the way before you empty it? Probably not, but it's not, uh, better in my opinion to have more space than none. I had this catch can installed in my Cobra Terminator for many years, and I have never gotten to a point where it got close to the top since I've been emptying this regularly. Let's look at the inside of the catch can. Uh, as you can see, again, there is a pad for the air or for the uh, vacuuming process that's happening by the engine. This engine sucking air through here and then it's getting air from another passage on the engine or a particular section of the intake. As that goes through here, if it were to travel directly, you're going to have oil that's going to make it back into the engine uh, where you wouldn't want to have oil. So what they've done is to separate the oil. Not only are you sucking in air, when and, and the oil when it's going to be exited out this way the oil particles are getting caught in this filter this is a nice filter mesh and look how nice and thick this is i'm going to take this out so you can see it it's a pretty nice filter and i have a little ruler here we can see that this filter is about one inch in size both ways so there's a lot of surface uh, media uh, basically, it's a bunch of wire, coiled wire, or uh, it's a filter material that is going to allow the oil to accumulate in here and whoop, 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 drop down into this little catch can and eventually allow you to empty it out. So it is really important that you have this feature to catch mm, the majority of the oil. This catch can right here, when I took it apart, last time I took it apart, I don't recall seeing such a feature inside. As you can see, the passages are just offset. So because they're offset, they're not directly uh, passing the oil from here. The oil falls inside of here, but this catch can is probably not going to be as efficient as this one. In fact, JLT did some testing of this catch can on their uh, YouTube channel, and they literally pour 1.5 ounces of fluid on one side of the line, they had tapped into the line, and the catch can caught 1.5 ounces of fluid in here, and only a few drops made it out of here. That's how efficient this catch can is. Now the 3.0 has an improved media. Basically this got a little bigger and got a little bit more finer material in there, and those additional changes, including the extra capacity, have made the JLT a really, really popular and effective catch can. Okay, so now let's look at the 4 Performance catch can. I gotta say, I am very impressed with the 4 Performance oil separator. I have not even installed it, but just from the looks of it, I love the logo, I love this right here, but I am also a fan of the OM look. If you want to look aftermarket, this might not be the way for you. If you want to look aftermarket, go with something like this because this is available in several colors. You have an engraved logo, so you can say, hey, I got this part from the LT. And you have uh, features such as a window or an easy to drain plug. If you want something that blends in in your engine bay and something that is going to be somewhat uh, stealthy, <laughs> this might be the way to go. 
I'm a big fan of, of stuff looking like it was there from the factory and this is exactly meeting that criteria. Now before I open it up, let me show you for comparison the sizes. You got the Bomba one here and the Bomba is probably about four and a half inches tall and probably about two inches in width. The JLT is fairly compact. The JLT is barely three and let's say about three and a quarter inches tall and only about two inches in diameter. So it's a very compact uh, catch can. But look at the four performance. This thing is meaty. This thing, it is pretty good size. It's about four inches, maybe four, four and a half inches in length. And also, and as far as how tall it is, this is almost four and a half inch, uh, four, yeah, 4.5 inches tall. So it is a big size difference between this and this. Again, that might not be what you want. If you want something small and aftermarket look, this is the way to go. If you want something that looks like it came from the factory like that, I mean, this doesn't get better than this. This is ready to go. It comes with clips so you can just clip it onto the car. It comes with this four specific hoses and they literally have four logos on them so you can attach this to this car and to the car and it's going to look like it was there when you bought it now let's look at the differences between the sketch cans to the four performance there is no oil drain plug how do i drain the oil <laughs> so there's no plug to drain the oil there is no window there is no window anywhere to know when to empty the oil the bottom does not screw off to easily empty the oil. So how did you empty the oil out of this cash can? And this is probably gonna be the most, I think the pet PV or the, the thing that may, may put off some people. It does, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just another way of doing it. There's nothing wrong with this way. There is actually some um, elegance in the simplicity of this. It is held close by four screws with that can be removed very easily with an Allen wrench. And all it requires you to is to remove these guys. Open up this bad boy for you. And once you have all those four bolts removed, you can now reach inside of there and drain the oil. And the way to drain the oil kit can be very done very easily. You can use a turkey, uh, kind of those one of those sucker things and get the oil out. You can grab a bunch of rags and shove them in there, get the oil out. You could take this off the car and then go pour the oil out. Alternatively, even Ford describes that you don't actually have to take the screws out. Ford just says, remove the hose here, remove the hose here and literally tilt this allowing the oil to drain out of here. So really, if you were to do it the four described way, this is really easy. You don't have to remove any bolts. You don't have to remove any openings. You would just empty the oil out. But most people are gonna empty this catch can by removing the four bolts and sliding the top off. Now let's look at the inside of this. This thing is quite a bit. Compare that to the size of the JLT. Tiny. Again, this is not the 3.0, but I'm gonna put it in there just for Illustration purposes that JLT the bottom part of the JLT can disappears inside of this filter In fact, let's try just for giggles. Let's try to see if we can hide an entire JLT Original JLT catch can inside of here Wow almost So this is almost Completely can be completely enclosed in this case. That's how big this is Again, that might be a plus for some people. That might be something that puts off others. Inside of here, you have a space not only for the oil to be captured, but you have a nice seal that is going to ensure this is a nice rubber seal that's going to ensure that every time you close and open this up, there is not going to be any leaks. Let's look at the other side. This is my favorite part after the logo <laughs> of this filter. Look at the massive media that is meant to separate the oil from uh, the air that is being sucked by the engine. So as you can see, when this is installed, oops, <laughs> oh, I think it's alive, it's running. So the oil as it's coming in through here, oil and gases is being filtered and accumulated in here. So the oil eventually drops down, whoop, whoop, whoop. And then you get uh, uh, the oil stuck in there and air, uh, air to come out. And I'm actually, I'm not sure right now as far, I have not installed this, the direction of the air might be actually going from here and exiting out of here. 
and that might be the uh, the way that it should function and that is one good thing actually that uh, we should talk about some of these catch cans have a right direction and an incorrect direction so for example on this one you can see that one side will be the in port and one side will be the out port or vice versa sometimes they are labeled Sometimes they're not. This JLT does not have any indication of which is the in and which is the out. You have to look at the instruction manual. This one right here has been labeled by the manufacturer. There's a little bit of an engraving where it says out and in. So some of these catch cans are directional. For them to function at their best, they have to be installed with the in in the in and with the hose that goes output to the one that says output. So in this one, I don't have to worry about it because the hoses are gonna limit my installation to, if I install this correctly, it is gonna be installed in the correct way of flowing. So again, back to the media. I love this, let's compare again. The size of this media against the size of this. I mean, this is, is just a huge difference. Now you gotta give it to uh, JLT. This is a very effective, for the size of this, it is very effective. Now when I put it in here, you can see what I mean though between the difference in size of the four performance to the JLT. The JLT, like I said, since then has improved, but it's only slightly larger. It's actually more of a square or more of a rectangle than a circle. I don't think it's going to be as big as this. It is a little finer, so it looks a little bit more like that than it used to. This is more coarse, but I don't think it's as fine as um, this four performance i mean i mean i can't even see anything inside of there and before i shot this video what i did actually shine a very strong light through here and then i also tried it through here and i could not even see the light by looking down this hole so i was shining a very strong light and i looked through here and i could not even see it but if i blow through this hole i can feel air very easily venting out through this side so that means that while this is not a restrictive filter it is thick enough or is dense enough where it's going to condense the oil and it's going to allow most of that oil to be captured in here. So let's reassemble this guy right here. While this can be assembled and empty fairly quickly, this is going to take you a little longer because you're going to have to reinstall your screws. But again, you get the OM look and you get a very nice a sturdy cash can that's gonna last you a long time as you can see something that happened odd to my uh, bomba over time is that it lost some of the black color it used to be black and it turned now into some of a burgundy just from being subjected to the heat the JLT on the other hand has uh, withstand the test of time it's not so close I think we're to a section where it's gonna get very hot so it's still nice and black this is some kind of fiberglass material and I don't think it's gonna change color. I've seen a lot of this material over time. If you, the only thing that may have to, uh, happen to it is eventually it may crack if you over tighten any of the screws. But either way, I think all those three cash cans are made to be a very long lasting hash, cash cans, heavy duty. So I think you can't really go wrong with you, you either any, any of these type of cash cans. I'm not saying buy the Bomba uh, in, or buy the JLT or buy the Ford Performance. It is just a choice of what you want. This is uh, a way of me showing you a generic representation on all the, all the cash cans that are out there. So there are other brands that, that are similar to Bomba. There are other brands that are similar to JLT. If I just take this one out, if I'm talking strictly Mustang, I will probably narrow down the choices to JLT and for performance because this were meant for the Mustang in terms of the horses that are going to come with it. I'm going to fit directly the Mustang or in this case was specifically designed by Ford engineers for the Mustang, or in my case, the Shelby GT350. So I hope you guys found this helpful. This is uh, actually the passenger side. This is the driver side. Look how meaty it is too. Between those two right here, I think it, it, it is just eclipses the size, the, both of the size of these, these little guys. So I can't wait to install both of these filters. I have another very short video on how to install each one. And Hopefully you guys can uh, take a look at that and let me know what you guys think about the cash cans. Well, have you had any good experiences with any of these brands or other brands that you that I don't know about or I did not talk about? So if you have any comments, please put them in the comments below. I'll also put links on the description to the items that you saw here today. If you like this kind of reviews, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have already, thank you so much. Every subscription counts. So that's it guys. Until next time, this has been Alex.